Okay, I'm um, really uh, privileged to be driving along in this monster of a car. We're in BMW's X5, but not just the X5. This is the M Sport 35, so um, top of the range by turbo car. Um, massively well equipped, uh, very impressive 3D navigation. Probably one of the best navigation screens available in any vehicle these days. Um, again, looking below that, we're into the aircon, usual dual zone aircon, heated seats, um, additional multiplayer underneath for your CDs. If you look back at the iDrive, again, you've got your CD, you've got your telephone, additional menu, and then across into this very nice gear stick, which you get a manual option with click back into manual and use sport so uh, fantastic thick leather steering wheel to give it that sporty feel BMW's renowned sport seats with the extra support behind the legs to uh, support you make you feel more secure feel very solid on the road um, very directional wherever you point it it tends to go so I would have thought this car would be in the region of £60,000 when it was new. Um, at the moment it's done 67,000 miles. There's an offer under 20. 2010 BMW X5. It's the X Drive 35, so it's top of the range. A couple extra body mouldings on the side, being the X4, the extra aggressive front bumper, giving it a real mean stance. Look at the wheels, we've got very nicely shod Dunlop wheels. They're on the 20 inch, so again giving it an extra M Sport feel. Badge explaining the actual model derivative on the side door. As we open the passenger door, we see the car's in excellent condition. That over mats in from new. The side bolstering, which can suffer because it's quite pronounced, no marks or even signs of wear on it. Even looking at the electric passenger seat. When we pull back to the door card, any superficial damage from seat belts being trapped, nothing like that. So, a well cared for car. Coming up from the B post backwards, you've got the extra privacy glass. All the car's got tinted glass all round, you get a little bit extra tint at the back. Let me open the passenger door at the back. Again, we're looking at the condition of the leather and so forth. Had over mats in the rear again from new, so everything in really nice condition. We're walking around the back of the car looking at the wheels again for any curbing or bad damage to them. Again, Dunlop tyres, virtually new, so no expense uh, needed there. 